What's up, guys? Of course, I look washed out, and there's what's going on. It's your boy, Nick. That's not a typical intro, but we gonna do it anyways. So today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be reviewing the Off-White Vulcanized Lowe's Pink and Black uh, by Virgil Abloh by Off-White. What's going on? Let's get it. This is my first Off-White piece, like Off-White shoe, Off-White piece. Yeah, I don't know anything else by them. But um, basically, we're just gonna do a quick review, materials, how it looks on feet, my thoughts, and um. Yeah, let's get into it. I am so different from like all the reviewers out there. Like they have like professional B-roll shots and uh, like camera setup and like mics set up. And no, I'm just using the shitty mic on my phone. What can I say? It is what it is. We're gonna be doing the single man, no cameraman. John isn't here. Fuck you, John. All right, let's get into it. Also, just to be clear, I've worn these shoes already, so the box isn't how it's not how it's gonna look when you get it. <clears throat> As in like. The shoes might be placed differently. They're not going to be a bit dirty like mine are. It's going to look more like better, but I just put it in the box for the unboxing experience. So let's get it. Okay, so starting off with the box, we got an, I think this is pretty like an off white box, like the color off white makes sense. So we got the off white there 2013 shoe box in the quotes. And off white, Virgil Abloh defining the gray area between black and white as the color off white trademark. Definitely trademark that shit. All right, opening, well, okay, relax there. All right, opening the box, see we are presented with a, honestly a thing that I've already used. It's um, it's a dust bag for the shoes. Off-white, Virgil Abloh, trademark. Focus, focus. Okay, don't focus then. Yeah, cool little dust bag. It's nice to uh, keep around. You got some nice uh, wrapping paper, packing paper, and there are the shoes. If you guys didn't know, I got this off Essence pretty sick I spent uh, $400 and made like 380 on these here's the shoe itself let me see if I can just get a nice focus on it there for you well they're dirty I know I know y'all are probably cringing right now whatever all right that's one and then we got the right foot here with the signature zip tie all right uh, let's dive uh, a bit deeper into these shoes shall we Unfortunately, I don't have any like proper like table to put this shit on so y'all will have to deal with it All right, here we go. So basically starting off on the left side of the shoe. You got the rubber um, It's like a rubber red rectangle. there, just posted. You know what I'm saying? The off-white Virgil Abloh trade fucking marked um, Yeah, pretty cool going back to shoe um, We got the signature off-white like design style with the uh, the black and the white uh, stripes there going around you got their logo there in pink which I really like the pink man I really do um, then you got their signature zip tie which says zip tie in quote 2013 copyright zip tie off-white trademark trade fucking mark guys you guys don't understand the trademark. Anyways, yeah. Um, this is probably the best detail I like on the shoe. Honestly, man, I don't know. The fact that just makes it pop. Like, it's a simple looking shoe, but um, I like the design. Quickly on this shoe, it is made of canvas and suede. You got a canvas upper here, and then you got the suede there. Um, yeah, it's, um, don't get this wet. Please don't get this wet, that would suck. Got the rubber here, I think that's rubber. And yeah, there we go, and if we take a look at the shoe laces, you got the signature, the shoe laces in the quotes there. I'm pretty sure that's on every off-white shoe, including the Nike collabs. Coming along inside the shoe, we got the off-white logo, if this would please focus, yer. Got the off-white logo, nothing else but some uh, lint from my damn socks. And then on the tongue tab, we have off-white Virgil Abloh trademarked. Y'all can't forget the trademark. Made on Earth, the side on a, or designed on a plane. That's pretty cool. Damn. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the shoe itself. It's a damn good-looking shoe, man. Honestly, people say this looks like a van like the vans and i don't disagree but the thing is it has the little like details that make it you know it make it stand out from vans again the logo there the stripes the zip tie the little detail on the shoelace it's better quality than vans for sure and i fucking hope so i paid almost 400 bucks for it um but yeah it's uh, it's definitely a good looking shoe oh is this shoe for everybody definitely not um 
I don't know, man. I've been wanting an off-white shoe for a while, not just for the brand, but I just like all their designs, like their, their Nike collabs and shit like that. I just love the silhouette, the extra detail they put on it, and it's a bit better quality. I do like those shoes. Those are the cheapest off-white shoes, by the way, that you can buy right now, I'm pretty sure, unless you get them used from Goat or something. But yeah, I'm at $400 Canadian. Keep in mind, your boy's Canadian. What's good? Um, yeah. Not a lot of people would spend that amount of money. I'm not trying to flex like credit card shit. I gotta pay that off. Oh god. Um, but yeah. Um, I just think it goes good with my stuff. You know what I mean? Just, I just like the shoe, and uh, I like shoes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there's so many dirty ones, bro. But um, yeah, it is what it is. I know I didn't get it going to super super big detail, mainly because I don't know what other details to go into. Let me get in some better light. Will I look better? Oh, no, 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 no. What about this room? Ow, fuck. Nope, even worse. Okay, whatever, it is what it is. Um, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, I didn't go into super big review just because I don't really know too much more. I know the material suede and um, canvas, as most, like, skateboard-esque shoes are. So, yeah, just a quick video giving my opinion on the off-white low vulcanized sneaker pink and black colorway. Um... Quick little review, I guess. Uh, oh, you guys want to see some on foot? No, you don't. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, I didn't go into too many detail because I'm not a shoe reviewer. I'm just a collector. What can I say? Uh, yeah, oh, quick fit of the day. I forgot. I guess we're wearing these now. Public Enemy long sleeve that I got from Winners. Winners is the plug, man. I, what can I say? And then we got some guest shoes. That's how it goes. And then the off shoes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. We almost have 200 views on the Lackenzie uh, jean video. I am beyond happy about that, man, obviously, because I have their name in the title. I think I'm going to get more views, but you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to make any money off that. I'm just really happy that that's getting a lot of views. It makes me cool. So hit the like button. Let's aim for like five likes. What can I say? Five likes and then um, subscribe, please. That would be heavily appreciated. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. And also comment down below if you want more shoe reviews. Most of the shoes that I have have been out for a while now. I guess I can't really like do much about that, but if you want like, I guess like, how about like fit videos and shit like that, I would honestly love to do that, just a quick fit video, budget or not budget, um, yeah, so, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.